Welcome. My name is Jason Page, and I volunteer at the Multiculti Art and Activist Center in Chicago. I bring you a special message. We have a rare and distinguished guest speaker at our space this weekend. His name? Thomas Tovey Blot. He is of four people still alive today who successfully escaped extermination camp Sobibor and survived the Nazi occupation of Poland. I believe Toby's story is not only important to historians, but an important to anybody proactive in the preservation of life and liberty in the world today. My name is Thomas Toivyblat. I was a prisoner on the Nazi death camp in Poland called Sobibor. A lot of people know about concentration camps, but Besides concentration camps, were specialized in dead, dead camps. The only function was to kill people. Sabibo was a dead camp. October 14, 1943, the, the prisoners of Sabibo revolted. We killed the Nazis and we escaped. Our life after we escaped, we were in the forest hiding. Some Germans, the German police or SS, apprehended uh, groups of uh, prisoners in the forest. Some were killed by people to rob them. It was very difficult to survive, but about 22 people from Sobibor survived. I'm one of them, and I tell the story just to warn the world to what terrible consequences hate or racism could lead to. My story is not uh, only a history picture, it's, only, it's also a warning to other people to be careful and be against any form of hate or racism. Thank you. say that the Holocaust never happened. Maybe they killed a few thousand Jews, but uh, it's impossible to kill in such a short time so many millions of people. It's possible if you have the organization skills like the Germans had. To give you an idea, I will tell you shortly the process of killing about 3,000 people, Jewish people from Holland. The transport arrived mostly in the morning. The people were told to get down from the train and leave the heavy luggage, which he promised would be delivered later. And so they left the luggage and they went straight to a book uh, courtyard and over there I assess one we call him the doctor because he usually put in a white a white uh, uniform and he had a short speech to the people uh, he said he politely he apologized for the three day trip from Holland but now you could see the in the middle of a forest in a beautiful country side and uh, he apologized for the difficult trip but now they are here in this place and they will be here till the end of the war but for sanitary reasons they need to have a shower so please undress yourself put the clothing in order so you could pick it up later and go with this alley between barbarians. 
we called it, we prisoners and the Germans called it the uh, road to the heaven. And uh, a lot of the people, Club Bravo even the end, because he was, he, the Germans talked to him so nice, and his place did look nice. The rest, he puts in, he went straight with the alley to, to heaven, to the gas chambers actually, and uh, take 20 minutes and they were all killed without any resistance because they didn't know, they didn't think that something could happen. And uh, later they were cremated, 3,000 people, take about three hours no more. So this was a factory. It wasn't by accident that uh, uh, a Nazi killed a prisoner. Whatever. It was an organized place where fast and expedient the Jews were killed.